shocking. After ex General Abdul Salami warned Tinibu about excruciating hardship, see unexpected action Governor Makide took. My people, this Nabli Shane, I beg if you just they join us for the first time, make you not forget to subscribe to this channel and in all. Make you not forget to raise her for us. In a significant move, reflecting the growing concern over Nigeria's economic hardship, Oyo State Governor Webishei Makide has declined to assert to the presumptive task B passed by the State House of Assembly. Makizde's decision comes amid widespread discontent over the nation's economic struggles, exacerbated by inflation, fuel price hikes, and high food costs, issues that are being felt across the country. Governor Makizde's refusal to sign the B into law was granted in his desire to shield all your state's vulnerable populations from further financial burdens. He emphasized that the current economic climate, marked by hunger and widespread anger, necessitates policies that prioritize putting money into the hands of the people rather than emptying their pocket so he can say he not they interested in whatever policy that we empty their pocket at this time oh he can say go continue to fight poverty and not to fight the poor mark it they remark he can clarify that why he supported the goal of raising the state's internally generated revenue where the IG arrow, he could not in good conscience back a bill that would place additional strain on the poor masses of Oyo State. The Oyo State House of Assembly, they don't pass the presumptive stars B 2023, which aim to impose a presumptive tax on individuals and small businesses without formal financial records under the B, small scale operators such as artisans, barbers, carpenters, and market traders we have to pay fees tax rates depending on their trade. For example, mechanics, welders, and food sellers we are expected to pay between 1,500 Naira and 7,500 Naira annually. Why? Why others, that is the banquet owners and photographers, they face a tax of 10,000 Naira to 50,000 Naira per year? Why the bill was met to increase or yours IG arrow? By targeting informal businesses, Mark Ideko argued that this was not the right time for such a tax regime. He said the economic hardship facing Nigerians, particularly in Oyo, where many are struggling to afford basic necessities, makes it difficult to justify additional taxes on low income earners. He suggested that any policy should focus on easing the burden on the population rather than adding to it. You can see say this move by Makide aligns with concerns expressed at the national level by former head of state, Webi General Abdul Salami Abubaka. That last week, Abdul Salami. He can't want President Bola Tinibu 
that the economic hardship in Nigeria was getting out of control. Speaking from his resident in Mina, where be Niger State, Abdul Salam Ikon emphasized that Nigerians were grappling with severe hardship, including skyrocketing food prices, transportation costs, and the inability to afford basic needs. He can urge Tinibu to implement more comprehensive measures to address these issues, adding that Andy at Palettis was not enough to solve the crisis. So, Abdul Salami can suggested flooding the market with essential goods sold at subsidized rates to provide immediate relief to the masses. So, he can the former military where be the person of Abdul Salami cause can echo the frustrations of many Nigerians who are feeling the weight of the recent economic reforms, particularly the removal of waste subsidies and the valuation of the Naira. You see, say the high cost of wear, in particular, has had a cascading effect, leading to increased transportation and food prices, deepening the financial strain on us, although. Mark is this decision to withhold assets to the task B can send a message to both state and federal leaders that local governments must also take a stand in shielding their populations from the effect of economic policies that disproportionately affect the poor. In a similar vein, Abdul Salami's warning can highlight the urgency of addressing these issues at the national level, urging Tinibu's administration to take swift action to mitigate the growing hardship. As both national and state leaders grapple with how to handle Nigeria's economic crisis, the conversation around taxation subsidies and government intervention will likely continue to dominate the political landscape with protests looming and widespread dissatisfaction over the economic situation the need of effective compare that is compassionate governance has never been more critical so my people my people you see, say our leaders, most of them, now there be the problem of this country. With the way this economic hardship be, it still gets us group of people where they won't make this hard for the common so. And you see, say Mark Ide, he not get an inside though, because in the few waiting the citizens that they pass through. Now so good leader supposed to be oh. So my people, my people, this matter, I end them up here. This Nabli channel, I bet make you not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.